awesome. It's like this. Then. Yeah. Okay, we're done. Yeah. <laughs> Macaulay. Missing up. Yeah. yeah. Um, can I? You're like you recently became a VC with Samsung Ventures, right? How? What were you doing beforehand? So I worked um, as part of an ad tech startup company, and I did product management there. And so I kind of I went through the whole experience of the ups and downs and the changes that you go through from like a 30 person company up to a 130 person company. Wow. Um, and it was awesome. Uh, Love working under the CEO. The CEO was a third time CEO, and we had great investors. Um, USC was part of that, and the company is still going strong. I actually moved like three blocks over to Samsung um, next. And the way I got into it was I was really interested in more um, deep tech technologies outside of ad tech. So what's deep tech? Just so that they don't know what deep um, tech is. I would say industry is more driven by IP versus um, sales channel strategies. Oh, that's a really great way of explaining what Yeah, I would do. say. And so I'm still learning more about those verticals, but essentially everything Samsung kind of touches in uh, or is involved in in terms of what, what they develop hardware for is kind of the, vertical, the verticals I want to learn more about. Um, it's more like the, you like the back end work. Right? Exactly, yeah. Um, so I'm still in the learning phase, uh, but VC is awesome. I think the best part of the job is that you meet with the smartest people ever. They are so passionate and they make you want to learn more. And so that, I'm very lucky for that, yeah. Uh, what, you just came couple, like, to Australia? Did yeah. you have a boyfriend in Australia? But more than that, like, you're, what's the difference between like, the technologies and the ecosystems between like, San Francisco or America versus Australia? Um, that's a good question. I think I need to get more of an understanding of the Australian ecosystem. I, it, the conference isn't great, but um, it's kind of giving me a good taste for it, but not really an understanding. Oh, them, so we'll see. Yeah, I, and I'm excited because the governments are kind of funding startup communities, both in Queensland and Victoria. A 500 so, startup is coming down to Melbourne specifically. Oh yeah, heard about that. And okay, from just let's backtrack a little bit. From Myriad, what the experience has been like in terms of talking to everyone? It's a great community here. Everyone's very supportive and friendly, um, and very smart. Like the great resources you guys have here, great, great universities, um, and great environment. It's very, very great lifestyle, especially here in Brisbane. Uh, I would love to work down here. Uh, so that's what I would say is something that you guys should probably hone a bit more. I think it's a very attractive, especially if I was out in the market looking for a job and rejoining the startup world. I would love this kind of um, community. And so. lifestyle as well, it sounds Yeah, like no, it's, it's good to have a good balance. Um, and also, I think the best startup employees are the ones that are trusted to basically manage their work life, but also um, in doing so and working hard, you also which earn is, your Which is like similar lifestyle. to the future of what life work, right? Uh, let's talk about the tall puppy syndrome. Just to explain, tall puppy syndrome in Australia means like you think your ego is too big, so like they don't like it when you're overthinking. Uh, and what do you like? You know, in terms of like, let's translate it in American speak talk. It's actually, yeah, uh, it's actually um, confidence. People should it's be confidence. more confident. Um, I think I went through it myself. Um, I'd call it more like the imposter syndrome, where you're put in this position and you think you don't know enough. But the reality is, you're spending your day and night doing this and living and breathing it. So you might not realize it until you think about it. But you know more than most people in the room. So remember that. And I think what happens could be happening in Australia, and it's something I've experienced in BC that you, you doubt yourself a lot, and so it prevents you from actually taking bold steps. But the reality is, anyone in Silicon Valley has been in your shoes, especially if you're early on um, entrepreneur. And it takes kind of conversations for you to realize that, but you, you don't really need that. You just need to know, just be confident. Keep moving forward. Um, and I would say the best advice we can give is a lot of VCs really um, respect any entrepreneur that's able to get, the, get to them through their natural network. because. To be a really great CEO means you have to leverage your network really well and be a salesman. Like if that, that's what takes that's what it takes to get really good funding, um, and it's it's a hard job. But um, yeah, that's what I would say, and that's how I got my job actually in BC. I found my boss at an event, um, and then I emailed her right after and went through the whole interview process. But it's and true, then, and it's kind of, all you have to do is network and believe in yourself. Yes, hundred percent. Yep, you know more than you think you know, and a good a good VC should approach a conversation with you as as if they want to learn from you because they know that you're the expert in the field. And that's what it is. Like um, VCs are generally like I call them the bankers. Okay, yeah. 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 They're the bankers. They're they fund your project. Yeah, definitely. Um, and then they have a big they want expect a big exit afterwards. Well, yeah, I, so the thing with uh, corporate venture capital is that we have more 
we are financially driven, but also strategically driven. We want to make sure everyone we invest in is mutually ben beneficial. So That's we a get different, different symptoms we gain knowledge, them. but we also can provide them something like distribution or expertise um, through our business units. So uh, I would say the best species don't think about the financial return, more about how they can help entrepreneurs progress. Oh, amazing! Thank yeah. you for doing the conversation. Thank with you me. so much. Yeah, geek out.